Hey, what's up, guys? Coach Bobby here. Uh, welcome to my uh, live video for tonight, my live, my Facebook Live. Uh, it's Thursday. Uh, what's today's date? It's Thursday, January 10th. All right, so today's topic, I'm going to talk about how to keep off the weekend weight, right, that most of us put on every weekend and come back Monday trying to burn off. So how to prevent that buildup or that weight that you put on just about every weekend. So that's today's topic, all right? So get a pen and a pencil and take some notes. First of all, today's Thursday, and many of you are asking, why am I talking about the weekend wait on a Thursday? Well, because for most of us, for many of us, that weekend thought process, that weekend mindset begins on Friday morning, right? How many offices out there, how many of your, of your companies you work for have donuts on Fridays or have lunch delivered on Fridays or have an atmosphere dress down day on Fridays, casual Fridays. So the atmosphere, the thought process, the um, the mindset changes Friday morning. So that, that mindset switch begins Friday morning. So if you don't go on the Friday thinking about what you're going to do, what your plans are, what your strategy is going to be for the weekend starting Friday morning, then you are going to be behind the eight ball on, uh, in the, on the onset. All right. So, um, an approach I want you guys to think about, okay? So the buildup of glycogen in the body is the mechanism that causes fat storage, all right? So when you intake carbohydrates, your body needs to use those or store them, right? So if you're not using up the glucose that you take in, which is most of our primary source of energy, if you're not using it, you're not running, you're not working out, you're not thinking heavily for some project. If you're not using that glucose that your body broke down from the carbohydrates you ate, the bread, the pasta, the rice, the cereal, the candy, whatever it is, then your body will store that in your muscle and your livers, all right? So, uh, for for many people who almost never deplete that or rarely deplete those stores, you begin to build up on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because now all of a sudden you're moving even less than you did Monday through Friday and you're making poor decisions probably. You're eating more of the things that build up your glycogen, your G-take stores. So those things begin to accumulate starting on Friday. So the way you have to prevent that, the way you strategize to prevent uh, weight gain, for, well, first of all, weight gain itself is not necessarily bad, right? I told you guys, I'll, I'll continue to tell you guys that our body has a range of weight that it can sustain without gaining fat, without storing fat. It has a range, it has to go through before it can burn fat. So that range is something you guys should be watching, right? So the weight watching, the scale watching should be used mainly as a uh, proxy to figure out what your range is, what your G-tank capacity is. So the weight gain itself is not important, but what happens is if you reach that apex or that, that capacity of glycogen storage, right, in your, in your muscle and liver, and that weight goes up, the water and the glycogen you're, you, you're storing is at a capacity, which will make your weight go up. Now your body begins to store body fat, right? So even in that scenario, if you come back on a Monday and Tuesday and lose the weight, the stored glycogen and water, your body has already begun oftentimes to begin to store body fat, body fat that won't come off until you've gotten rid of the glycogen and water. So for many people, when you go off on a weekend and enjoy yourself and you gain weight, for many people, some of that fat storage may never come off because they never take the steps necessary regularly enough to get rid of that glycogen and water to force their body to store, to, to convert and burn body fat. All right. So to strategize, it's very simple. When you go into a weekend, what you're going to be facing is back to back to back to back to back to back to back, to back feedings. Right. Oftentimes you're, you're doing you're doing a, a lunch on a Friday. That's one. Right. If you if you've already maybe you had, you know, donuts or, 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 or coffee and pastries at your office in the morning. So it might be two by lunchtime. All right. So at the very least, you have a lunch, maybe right? a lunch meeting or lunch with your buddies. Right. Then you have a dinner, maybe cocktails, maybe maybe happy hour. 
right? Because it was a long week. You wanna you wanna wind down, wind and enjoy yourself. So now you got Friday. It's back to back meals, back to back glycogen buildup, right in your body. Now Saturday morning, unless you go work out, now you want to sleep in. Maybe go to breakfast with your mom or your dad or your wife and kids, or you have breakfast in bed, right? You sleep in. You watch the game. Right, you might go golfing with your buddies. Now you're drinking beer. Right, so now that's three meals back to back to back. All right. Now Saturday afternoon is a time that many of us have planned activities. Right, maybe it's your son or daughter's ball game. Now you're going to, to dinner afterwards. Right, or you're out uh, at an event and you're eating fast food because you're traveling. Now that's one, two, three, four meals back to back to back to back. Right now, Saturday night, now you want to enjoy a movie with your wife or your or your husband and your kids, or you're going to a movie or you're going to dinner. You get my point? So you're building up with these back-to-back-to-back-to-back feedings without any opportunity, right, any chance to deplete that, right? So what I suggest you guys do is pick and choose which of those seven opportunities to eat you are going to take. It can't be all of them. Right, it can't be all of them. So what I do is I pick and choose which ones I want to enjoy. Right, what's important to me? Is it going to be to Saturday night dinner? Is it going to be Saturday breakfast? Is it going to be Sunday something? But it can't be all of them, right? And then I make sure that if I have a planned weekend that has high calories, right, involved or high carbohydrate intake involved. If I'm going to a game that I know I'm going to have popcorn and hot dogs at. If I'm watching football with my family, I know I'm going to be celebrating with a nice meal. Whatever it is, if, I'm, if, I've, if I've been waiting all week for my favorite meal, if I know that's coming, I make sure I go into that Friday and Saturday with my G tank on empty or very close to it so that when I build up my, my storage of glycogen, I don't go to capacity and begin to store body fat. So it's okay to have pizza and beer and soda, but you can't have that when your glycogen tank, your G tank is already half full or three quarters full. You can have that if you've done the mechanisms and, and, and done, the, done the things necessary to empty out your G tank. So what I do just about every Saturday is I work out, right? I have a class for, that, I, that I conduct, that I participate in. So we train Saturday mornings. Right then, if I come home and my G tank is relatively low, right, where I'm at little risk of going over in the next day and a half, I might have a bagel. I might have some toast. I might have some pancakes. But if not, if I'm not hungry, I'll just use my ketones and my amino acids to, to prolong that period of time where my body is, is not getting any more glycogen, but still burning through my G tank. Right now, Sunday, Saturday night and Sunday, I have an opportunity to enjoy myself without jeopardizing or, or risking fat storage. So the key is very simple, right? If you imagine your body has this G tank, right? And you go into that G tank at a certain level. If you've done nothing all week exercise wise and you've eaten relatively normal levels of, of carbohydrates, then you're going into the weekend probably at least half full on your G tank. So now you can't move less, right? Less than you did during the week, right? You're sitting more, you're watching TV, you're in the car maybe, you're at dinner, so you're not moving, right? Exercising, I suggest you do, but now you're probably not. And now you have the opportunity, breakfast, lunch, dinner on Friday, at least lunch, dinner, then Saturday, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then Sunday, breakfast, lunch, dinner. That's between six and nine feedings without any opportunity to decrease that glycogen level. So you have to pick and choose ahead of time which ones you're going to partake in and then plan accordingly. If you're going to have dinner with your buddies or your girlfriends on Friday night and drinks, right? don't have lunch hour with your colleagues at work. Who's more important, your, your work colleagues or your buddies? Can't have both. Right? If you're gonna go have drinks and beer and, and dinner with your buddies, right, Friday night or cocktails or happy hour, get a workout in at lunch. Right? Sacrifice your morning on Friday to get a workout in. Right? If you overindulge Friday night, get your ass up in the morning on Saturday, go burn off some more, unless you plan on fasting Saturday and Sunday, which is very hard to do. So if you imagine this this tank, you don't have to be precise in it, right? At some point you will be. 
But initially, just be intuitive about it and understand, look, I have this tank, right? If I don't work out, it's building up. It's building up. If I continue to eat carbohydrates and glucose, it's building up, right? And at some point, it's going to max out and my body has no other recourse than to store it as fat, right? So that's how I prevent fat storage going into the weekend. I gain weight just about every weekend, right? But I start just about every weekend low on my G tank, right? And then I make sure most Saturdays I get it even lower, Right now, I can begin to to pick and choose and have some enjoyment Saturday and Sunday without any risk of fat storage, knowing that Monday and Tuesday I can come back and get rid of that glycogen and be set for some fat burning during the week, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or so, right? But it's a plan. It's a process that I go. But you can't go into it winging it, right? You can't go into the weekend uh, after a week of not of not moving, of being sedentary, of enjoying all the things you enjoy, and then go into the weekend and do more of that, more sitting and more eating, right? So I know it sounds simple. It is pretty simple, right? If you're gonna if you're gonna be sitting, you can't eat. If you're gonna move, you can eat, you can eat a little more, right? All with the intent on not storing fat, right? It's trying to burn fat in the weekend is hard. Right. So I try to go into the weekend with the plan of just not gaining fat. Right. That's my plan. Don't gain fat on the weekend. Right. Start on the week. Start the weekend in a position where I can where I can have some fun and enjoy some food and gain some weight, but not any, have any risk of gaining fat. And then I use my week, my, my early part of the week um, where I do all my heavy lifting, all my work to get my G tank down. I fast. I use my ketones. Right, my exogenous ketones. I use my amino acids. I use those as a way to prevent or reduce significantly my glycogen intake. And then I do all my heavy heavy workouts Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then by doing that, by limiting my my glucose intake and by upping my my burning of glycogen, I'm usually in fat burning mode by Wednesday. Right, when my G tank is completely empty. Now I can burn body fat. In periods, not necessarily without any interruption, but I can burn body fat for t- 6, 8, 10, 12 hour periods, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? Then go into the weekend on empty and I'm able to have pizza. I'm able to have hamburgers and fries, right? I do gain weight just about every weekend, but I don't gain body fat, right? And I use my week, my weekdays. To make sure I'm I'm not high, not too high on Monday where I can't get back down to zero uh, on my G tank, but I, but but I do it in a way that I know where I'm going to be at. I know that when I go into the weekend, I'm not too high. I know that that if I don't go too high, I can get back down to zero in my G tank by midweek, and then burn through that for you know one or two days and burn body fat, and then every weekend I do the same thing. So have a plan, have a strategy. And visualize when you're doing things in your head, visualize what's going on with your body, right? I haven't moved all week, right? I had I had some carbs this week, right? So now I'm going into this happy hour. I'm going to have pasta and beer and bread. What's, what's going to happen to my body? My body's forced to, 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 to store any excess glucose as body fat. Right. It's very simple. So don't do that. Work out before. Right. Limit how much you do during the week if you are going to go out. Right. And then if you're going to have dinner Friday night, can have breakfast Saturday morning, can have lunch probably Saturday afternoon. Right. Can have all of them. Can have all all nine meals starting Friday morning. Got to pick and choose. Right. If you do have a meal, it can't be all carbs. Right. Limit to carbs. All right. So hope that was helpful. Uh, again, start that mindset Friday. Don't wait till Saturday. Right? Start the mindset Friday. Right? It, again, I, I told you guys, it's simple math. You can't lose two days out of the week. Right? You can't give away Saturday and Sunday and then expect to win the week because there's no way many of you are going to win four out of five days. Right? It's like a basketball series. Right? Or a a baseball series, best of seven series. You can't lose the first game and expect to win the series, right? So if Sunday, if Saturday and Sunday are games one and two, 
most of you lose those games. And so now you got to win four out of five days during the week. That's hard to do. That's hard to do. So let's win one of them, right? Let, let's not lose one of those games, one of those two days, Saturday or Sunday, and then have a chance to win the week every week. All right? So go into it with a strategy. If you need help uh, with, with scheduling, with, 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 with going hour by hour during the week, how to make, make the best of your time and how you eat and how you train, I can help you. Reach out to me. I can help you. All right, guys, have a great weekend. I know it's Thursday, but again, the mindset starts Friday. Have a good weekend, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, love you guys. Bye-bye.